Uh, hello everyone. For those who are having problem uh, regarding uh, Kali Linux and uh, those having problem re regarding well is learning Kali Linux uh, for the it's not for virtual or for VMR or for the virtual box is for the who's running Kali on the kernel itself or the as a second boot or first boot with the well boot or something like that so i'm um, having problem in wireless so if you check for uh, if config there is no any wireless if uh, iw config as well there is no any wireless extension the second step is uh, how to how do i find a way to connect my or to install driver since hp is not uh, directly uh, what called supporting for linux distributions uh, only for microsoft I have to go to the broadcom uh, dot com. The broadcom dot com is a the company that is uh, what called supporting the uh, wireless edge uh, zero two or edge zero something eleven uh, G and G or any anything regarding to wireless uh, in the laptops for 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 Linux distribution, especially for Kali Kali Sana. This I'm using the last uh, the four point something. 2.0 point something on Kali uh, so the next step is uh, first after downloading it from I download it from my mobile I have to check the uh, how to download first you have to check the compatibility uh, compatibility so you have to run this command to get your the compatible the proper uh, wireless controller or network uh, driver so the network controller is Broadcom Corporation. This is a device that well, this is the most important one. BCM four three one three. Daily you will go to the website and check for the uh, which operating system which is thirty two or sixty four. Then you have to check for the uh, the compatible or the proper BCM version. And the next is the product or the product device ID. The device ID is a four. Uh, 4727 next step is uh, simply after you download it you have to uh, extract the terrible so you have to make a dire directory uh, you have to make a directory you have to first cd the desktop then uh, mk directory hi print WL. After you do that, you have to CD to this hybrid. Next step is to tar the XZF uh, root desktop, then uh, hybrid V. This uh, it will be extracted. Next step is very simple to build the driver. The driver as a Linux loadable kernel module kernel module so you have to first make make clean for you make next is make after you make uh, while you are making you can see the API uh, uh, suitable for your case so it's telling me it is CFG H0211 uh, just directly you have to make this one make API equal to CFG CFG uh, 80211. Okay, uh, we make it. Then next, uh, the fifth step is uh, this will build WKO W.KO uh, file. If this is not present, uh, means there is where error while building. If you are using all the uh, drivers version, upgrading can be done as well. Uh, how to do that is just go to the www.broadcom.com or www.broadcom.com Linux STA slash readme.txt Here you will find all this what I'm explaining right now even then you have uh, You have to check the confliction if any confliction in there done by other or previous drivers so that's preventing it from loading so uh, paste this command uh, it will bring for you 
I don't know why it's not playing here because already I made it uh, in the previous session. I did. Uh, you will find the IDs and all these things. You have to remove these mod modules and put them in the blacklist for the future to not be loaded. So how to remove them? Just simply uh, just RM mod or remove mod. The first one is B43 module is not currently loaded. That's good. Uh, if it's loaded for you, it will be uh, unloaded or removed. Just the next one is as well. For me, it's not loaded. For you, I don't know. You have to run this, whatever. Uh, just see SSB, then the BCMA. Next is W L. We are already having, I think I have this one because oh, that's good. Also, next step is add them to the blacklist, uh, you know, for the future to not be loaded to prevent them from loading this because it is, you know, it's making conflict with the new installation driver. So, this is the command eco blacklist SSP. Uh, greater than greater than etc mod prob dot d then blacklist dot config file we have added this one the next one also will add the bcma to the same place the blacklist the third as well third and fourth as well the same we have to add them okay the last is uh, the mark copy this one after we added them to the uh, uh, blacklist ssb then we have to ins mode or install mode the driver so installing mode it will tell you here if you go to the readme text the text if newly installed uh, wl driver you will need to add a security module before using the wl module uh, most newer version uses LIB or library 80211, while others use IEEE uh, 80211 create uh, TKIP. I don't know what's the name. See which one works for your system. So, my system is the one is working is this one because already we check it and we add it. So, we have to choose which one. Uh, for me, this one is working. The next is the last step is uh, the ins mode of the WLKO. So what's happening is, I before I execute this command, I will tell you here if I press in key in my laptop in my HP Pavilion G6, the wireless button or wireless key, you will see it is putting it in the airplane mode. If I change but the well is not showing while blue is showing uh, i don't know what's problem but that is a problem it's not loading at all it's not really it's showing me red so this is a last and it will appear directly if you can see here directly yeah this have been detected then uh, you just turn off again put it on it will be shown in full mode so this is i uh, this is uh, the steps for installing the driver uh, the right driver for your uh, laptop or color links then uh, if you have any problem more errors you have to check directly if you this is not working for you directly go to this documentation and you will find the right solution and hope that was a helpful uh, guide installation. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and wait for new videos. Bye bye. Have a nice day.